Hey okay, guys, it's Dragon, and today I thought, other than my hair is an absolute abomination of a mess, I still love the colour. Anyway, I thought I would talk about the difference between being in high school versus, well, that's not what I'm going to talk about, that's a complete lie, I apologise. What I am going to be talking about is the things I miss in high school versus the things I don't miss in high school. I mean, freshly being out of high school. So I've been out of high school for since September, it is now January, so I haven't been out that long. But I wanted to talk about things that I have definitely missed and didn't either realise I would miss or knew I would miss or, you know, all those things. Please ignore all the pimples on my face. Anyway, so the first thing that I definitely missed is the schedule. I love having a schedule, otherwise I'm lazy the entire day. So having something planned throughout the day is something I love and that's what school gave me. It gave me a 9 to 3, you know, 9 to 3, 15 schedule. I would go to these classes, learn these things. It was a schedule that I could actually do and there was breaks in between, there were studies. So I didn't feel like I was working for the full 8 hours. It was fun and you know, stuff like that. Another thing I miss is obviously hanging out with my friends, I don't get to see them as much. We don't get to have that school, little banters and things like that. So there's definitely like those things I miss. The things I don't miss is... And surprisingly a lot of people would be like, Oh I don't miss the schoolwork, I don't miss the work, I don't miss that stuff. That's going to the things I miss. The things I don't miss however are the stresses that school put on to me. Like they tried to make it a non-stressful place for me they were and for everyone they were like you know don't worry about your ATAR you'll be fine you'll pass don't worry about your SACE and this and that but at the same time and you know they try to be friends with you and stuff like that but at the same time I always felt like I had to hold up a standard to make the school seem good which is something I don't like I don't like people having standards of me it makes me nervous so having to uphold a standard to the younger kids, uphold a standard to the school. I hated that. Another thing I do not miss is the part where so every year you would get awards, right? The school would give out awards and you, you know, there's always stuff like that, but it was always for extracurricular stuff like sport and music. As someone who doesn't do sport or music, I always felt left out because you know, people are getting all these awards for either being the highest in their class or for doing sports and music. I'm not athletic, I'm not a music person, and I'm not smart. So because I didn't fit into those categories, I never got any awards, and I always felt really left out. And yeah, you know, you could be like, oh, but it's your fault, you could have done sport, you could have done music. You're right, I could have done sport. But I also couldn't either because it was always an after school sport and even when it was, it was always on a Tuesday, which is when I volunteered for St. John. <coughs> oh. Sorry. Or it would be, you know, a time where I'm working and I can't miss work for sport and I can't... I could have missed St. John but I built such a connection there with the people. I refused to miss it. I would go to St. John even when I was sick and I felt like I was absolutely dying, I would still go because I thought they were family and to some of them I still think they are so one of the negatives about school is yeah other than all the pressures that the school actually puts on you as a person and feeling not that great one of the things that I hated was that if I obviously didn't do a sport music or if I didn't do all the extracurricular stuff I wasn't classified as like important or that I cared about the school. I hate that. I cared a lot about my school. Ask anyone, they'll tell you how much I loved my school and I still love my school to this day. What frustrated me is that the school didn't see that, they saw it as you're not doing all this extracurricular stuff because you want to focus on your education and your, you know, your book work, so you must not like our school. I hated that. One of the things I won't miss is obviously some of the girls' conversations. It was, you know, about, oh, that teacher's hot, or, 
you know it could be to do with that it could be even just telling other teachers off or you know stuff like that there wasn't really anything about being bitchy to other girls our school was pretty good with that I didn't see a lot of that but again <laughs> I don't see a lot of things so there is that too but that was definitely something I hated was there was always particular girls who would you know kind of talk back to the teachers who would think that they're better than the teachers and all these stuff and I'm like you honestly should not be talking back to your teacher as first of all secondly it just why are you disrespecting your teacher and it would just be so annoying and frustrating I hated that not only for the teachers because the, usually the teachers they were doing it to were the nice teachers who were like supportive and kind and caring and would help you as much as possible you just it was just not on and I hated it so they were definitely something I won't miss but yeah just the things of like schedules and having friends around and like I still email one of my teachers <laughs> now because she was such a huge life changer and I don't mean that as like oh my god she changed my life because she gave me an A like she literally had changed my life I went from you know D's to A's in my assignments and schooling yeah but she gave me a different perspective on life and she gave me you know she told me that it was okay to be myself and look at what your strong suits are at and make sure you use those to help you with your education and that was something I thought was really cool like I struggle a lot with writing because my English is not great so she said instead of doing English I know you're great at videos why not make your assignments video based and I thought that was the coolest thing because no one had ever thought that she cared enough to know what my interests and my strengths were and how I could use that to make my education better and that was amazing and I quite enjoyed that it was definitely really cool I think another thing I miss as well about going to school and this is like the oddest thing but like catching the bus home I miss that I miss having 45 minutes to myself taking the bus home every day or more stays you know either reading a book sitting by myself thinking or chatting to my friends catching up with old friends that don't go to the same school as me but just catch the same bus route as me things like that and I definitely gonna say I'm gonna miss that because it's not something you can just be like hey let's catch the bus together um yeah so these are some things that I missed slash did not miss miss about high school let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys miss about high school slash what you don't miss about high school if you've left or what you miss about primary school you know just what you miss about schooling in general and if you're homeschooled let me you know what you think you would miss if you went to a like a building I don't know what I'm trying to say I was gonna say like a building school but that doesn't make sense like uh mm, no I was gonna say like a high school you know what I mean <laughs> anyway See you guys in the next video. Sorry guys, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Schooling, man. The education is so weird. Well, I mean, you gotta love it because that's how you get through life. Yes.